Hello, welcome to my uh, video on how to run Python on Windows. I'm Charles Severance and this is my book Python for Informatics and I have a bunch of free courses. The book is free and so I, I hope you enjoy learning how to program. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is download some software. Um, you need a programmer editor and so Notepad++ is a good one. Uh, it has syntax highlighting and other things and it doesn't mess up your files. It understands that you just want a plain text file. So I'm going to download and install this. You uh, want to be an administrator when you're doing this in your Windows box. It might. Uh, I'm an administrator on my particular Windows box. I'm going to run it. And you might get prompted for a password here, but I, uh, I'm just going to say yes because I am in the administrator. And I'll run through the installation process here. So that's all done. I'm not going to bother running it right now. So there we go. So I've done uh, Notepad. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to download Python. It's so here I'm at the Python download page. For my class, I use Python 2.7. Uh, you could uh, use Python 3. Um, they're slightly different languages. I think it's fine to learn both languages, um, although we're really at the point where increasingly people are starting to use Python 3. But there's so many things that are there for Python 2. So the question often asked is, like, which one of these two? Do I go the x86 or the non? It's pretty safe to do this one. But um, so if I go start and then I type PC info, uh, this will tell me something about this PC. Different versions of Windows have this in different places. But basically, I get to the point where it says I have a system type 64-bit operating system. So I can get a 64-bit download which is nice to do, so I will go back to Control Panel and um, I'm going to download my Windows 64-bit uh, installer. And I'm going to run it. And again, I'm going to need to be an administrator. I'm going to install it for all users. I'm going to leave it in the directory that it wants to put it on my local drive, Python 2.7. You can put it elsewhere, but then you're going to have to remember it. Please don't put spaces in the path, no matter what you do. And again, I'm the super user, so I'm going to say yes. So we're all done. Okay, so now I'm going to minimize my uh, web browser. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run Notepad. And of course, you can have uh, shortcuts, but I'm going to use the Start button. I'm going to hit Start, and I'm going to type in my keyboard Notepad, N-O-T-E-P-A-D, and up comes Notepad Plus, and I will take that. So here we have Notepad Plus, and I'm going to write a uh, simple Python program. P R N T, hello world. Okay, and I'm going to file. I'm going to save this. So I'm going to say file, save as, and I am going to put this on my desktop. I might. I could make a folder. Um, sure, let's make a folder. I'll call this learn because I'm Python learning. So I'm going to the folder. You'll notice the folder showed up as soon as I made it. Now I'm going to make this file. I'm going to call it first prog py. Now you'll notice it did syntax coloring. As soon as it realizes that this is a .py file, it knows the Python language. And so it's giving me some help. And if I go into learn, I will see that there is indeed sitting in this folder a file called first prog.py. Unfortunately, Windows hides the .py but shows us this little Python icon. You can run it by clicking on this, but this is not my preferred way of running it. Okay, so I'm just going to hide, uh, minimize that, and um, I'm going to say start, and then I'm going to type cmd. This is the command prompt. Uh, sometimes you have to do start run cmd on really old versions of Windows, or just start cmd, and then run command prompt. And, you know, this, this will initially seem, you know, like, why am I using this old school command prompt? But after a while, part of the goal is to really get to be good at your computer and knowing how the computer works. So this is the command prompt, and you type command. So one of the commands you can type is dir. You're in your home directory. That's what user c7 means. And I'm going to go into my desktop with a cd, which stands for change directory, D-E-S-K-T-O-P. 
Now I'm in my desktop, move my little cursor there, and I do a dir, and you'll see a whole series of things there. And then you'll see this learn folder, L-E-A-R-N, so I'm going to change into that directory, CD learn, and do a dir there. And lo and behold, I see exactly what I was seeing in here. So this is really just a graphical image of what's in that folder. I mean, and, and you can even sort of see the path if you look here that it's in my C colon users C sev desktop learn, which is exactly where I'm at C colon users C sev desktop learn. This may seem, when, you, when we start reading and writing files, it's important that you put your files in the same folder here um, as first as a program. So to run the Python program, you simply type first prog.py. It's as, it's, it's as if, whoops, f-i-r-s-t-p-r-o-g.py. It's as if you've built an extension of this system. The little program you wrote in Python is sitting there for you to run. And I can make a change, like something else, and save that file. And then I can run it again. And now, here's a trick. I can hit the up arrow and just run the same program again. Syntax error. PR. Oh, I put an M in. Print. Save. Now, I just come back here. I hit up arrow and run it again. And so now I have my little two-line program, and away it goes. So the only other thing to know is to how to start Python for the command uh, so you can do interactive playing with Python. And this way you can type Python commands. And you can add it to your path and go look on Google as to how to add something to your path because it's, it's in the, but it's easier just to say c colon backslash python 2.7 because that's where we, oops, python 2.7 backslash python. I cannot type. And so this is the Chevron prompt, right? There's the Chevron prompt. So I can type a print yo. Or I can type take me to your Python leader. Syntax error. Yeah, we've been through this before. I hate computers. Okay. So get out, but here you got to be careful because you can't run programs, and so you can type quit to get out. And now you're back at the command prompt, and you can type dir. So you can learn the commands here. All we really know is we know dir, cd, and when in doubt, just close this window if you get lost in the wrong folder or something. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Uh, please don't make directory names or folder names with spaces in. It just makes life confusing. Um, so stick with uh, simple names. Uh, don't put long spaces in either folder names or file names because then it's harder to do this stuff. Okay? Thanks.